here a resistive network is given with a voltage source and diode this resistive network is a symmetrical network and we have to find out current through this ideal diode i we have to find out the rms current in milli ampere through this diode if v is equal to 10 sin t volt now if you be, if you closely observe this resistive network this network is symmetrical about this point let's say current here is i now if you be, if you will observe this resistive network from this point if you move from there are three branches coming from this point this is first branch this is second branch and this is third branch let's say this is first branch first second and third in the first branch first you will get resistance r1 in the second branch also you are getting resistance r1 and the third branch you are getting resistance r1 okay now in the first branch only after resistance r1 you will reach at this point after this point here you have resistance r2 after this point you have two branches here you have resistance r2 and this resistance is also r2 okay in the second branch after resistance r1 here you have resistance r2 and here also you have resistance r2 in the third branch after resistance r1 you have resistance r2 and here also resistance r2 similarly if you will look at this point in all these three branches first you will get resistance r3 here also r3 and here also r3 after r3 here you have resistance r2 here resistance r2 after this r3 r2 and r2 and after this r3 also resistance r2 and r2 okay so what i am trying to convey is after at this point in all these three branches or after these three branches the resistances are connected in symmetrical fashion so if i current flows here the current will be divided equally due to symmetry here the current will be i by 3 here also current will be i by 3 and here also current is i by 3 similarly if this voltage source supply a current i the same current will enter in the other terminal of voltage source so if here current is i this current will also be i okay so here also current will be i i current will come from this resistive, resistive network and about this point also the circuit is symmetrical so if i current is flowing here i by 3 will come from first branch from second branch and same current will come from third branch i by 3 okay so here in r3 what is the current here you have current r i by 3 here also current is i by 3 now again if you will observe from this point the circuit is symmetrical so i by 3 will be divided into i by 6 and in this here current will be i by 6 here i by 3 i by 6 will flow here and i by 6 will flow here here current is i by 3 i by 3 will be equally divided so this is i by 6 and here also current will be i by 6 i by 6 is coming from here i by 6 is coming from here these two current will add and it will make i by 6 plus i by 6 i by 3 okay so it, it will also verify your initial assumption here current is flowing okay from here current is i by 6 this current is i by 6 so i by 6 and i by 6 will be added to make i by 3 so in all the resistance we have current and in this circuit we have only one unknown which is i so now we need only one loop one kvl loop to find out the relationship between voltage and current so let us take this this loop looks very simple 
let us take this loop so here you have a voltage drop of i by 3 into r1 i by 3 into r1 here again a voltage drop i by 6 into r2 okay do not take this loop because in this loop voltage is not included and we have to find out relationship between voltage and current if you will take this loop you will get nothing you will get 0 is equal to 0 so you will not get any equation from this loop let us take a loop which will include voltage source let us take this loop and suppose that current is flowing in this direction only so diode will be short circuited let us take this loop from r3 and then return back this is plus minus you, you have a voltage gain of v here i by 3 into r1 here minus i by 6 into r2 and here again i by 3 into r3 is equal to 0 so voltage will be equal to i into r1 by 3 plus r2 by 6 plus r3 by 3 r1 is 3 kilo ohm, 6 kilo ohm and 9 kilo ohm. so 3 by 3 this is 1 6 by 6 1 and 9 by 3 3 so v is equal to 5 into i these resistances are in kilo ohm so i will be in milliampere so i will be v divided by 5 milliampere okay so when you will have positive cycle of this voltage source depending upon the magnitude of voltage current will be v divided by 5 this is the graph of voltage and in the positive half cycle current will flow, flow and in the negative half cycle current will be 0 because diode will be open circuited if the amplitude is 10 here in the positive half cycle current is v divided by 5 so this will again be sinusoidal but the amplitude will be 10 divided by 5 this will be 2 milliampere okay this is the output of half wave rectifier and for full wave the rms value is v divided by amplitude divided by root 2 and for half wave the rms value is amplitude divided by 2 so rms will be 2 milliampere divided by 2 this will be 1 milliampere so the rms current i that is flowing through diode will be 1 milliampere here we have a circuit diagram this is 5 volt voltage source 3 kilo ohm resistance 2 kilo ohm here voltage is v naught and this is a voltage dependent voltage source if here voltage is v naught the voltage difference here will be 100 times v naught this is 10 kilo ohm 40 kilo ohm and this is a resistance r and we have to find out the maximum value of power the maximum power that can be delivered in this resistance r okay. so we know that if you have to maximize power in this resistance okay, we have to find out maximum power so maximum power will occur for a particular value of resistance okay so if you have to maximize power in this resistance and you have to find out this resistance only you have to find out a resistance value of resistance in which we have to maximize the power so for this condition the value of resistance must be equal to the Thevenin equivalent resistance about this terminal so first we will find out the value of r for which the power will be maximum and this value of r is equal to the Thevenin equivalent, equivalent resistance about this terminal about the terminal across which the load resistance is connected so first let us find out 
the thevenin equivalent resistance about this point. So for this we will open circuit this terminal and all the independent voltage sources will be short circuited. Okay. Now if this is short circuited there will be no current so this V0 will be 0 so this voltage will also be 0 if this voltage is 0 this will be short circuited. Now if this is short circuited the circuit diagram will be 10k 40k and this is the terminal this is the terminal across which you have to find out thevenin equivalent resistance. So about these two terminals 10 kilo ohm and 40 kilo ohms are connected in parallel. So 10k parallel 40k this will give you 8 kilo ohm resistance. So RTH is 8 kilo ohm it means we have to connect resistance equal to if you will connect 8 kilo ohm resistance here the power delivered in this resistance will be maximum. So once we have found out the value of resistance such that the power is maximum now we have all we have to do is to find out power in this resistance ok. Now all the parameters are given we have to find out power in this resistance. So one way is to solve this circuit, the another way is that will be simpler. Let us find out thevenin equivalent circuit of the thevenin equivalent circuit of this circuit about this terminal, about the terminal AB. Because in the thevenin equivalent circuit you have to find out two things, open circuit voltage across AB and Thevenin equivalent resistance RTH. This has already been found out, so only one part is remaining. So let us find out open circuit voltage. And in the Thevenin equivalent circuit, what you will have? RTH that has already been found out. Open circuit voltage and load resistance. So load resistance is 8 kilo ohm which is nothing but RTH. So power delivered in RTH will be if these two resistances are same the voltage difference here will be VOC by 2. So power will be voltage square divided by resistance VOC square divided by 4 into RTH this will be the maximum power. So we have to find out open circuit voltage. This is 5 volt and this is open circuit voltage. If this is 5 volt, this is 3 kilo ohm, this is 2 kilo ohm. So V0 will be 2 volt. Okay. Here 3 volt will be dropped, here 2 volt. This is 100 V0, V0 is 2. So this voltage difference will be 200 volt. If this is 200 volt, this is 10 kilo ohm, this is 40 kilo ohm. So v, VOC will be by voltage division 200 into 40 divided by 10 plus 40. This will be 160 volt. So the maximum power will be 160 into 160 divided by 4 into RTH is 8 kilo ohm. So this will be 8000. Okay. So the maximum power in the resistance R will be 0 0.8 watt.